Okay, here we are with Jason Wright, and Jason uh, has designed uh, this uh, HVAC system, which incorporates an energy recovery ventilation system, an ERV, and two small uh, mini split ducted systems. And just to recap the energy recovery ventilation system, which is right above Jason's head there in that black box, you can see two pipes going into it on this side and two pipes coming out on this side. One is an exhaust and one is an intake. And then the intake is a preheat defroster. Uh, this defroster will energize an electric heating element anytime the incoming air is below 18 degrees and that is to prevent the ERV core from freezing. Okay, so uh, just to recap the ERV, uh, what does it do um, in 30 words or less? <laughs> Put me on the spot. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's going to transfer heat and uh, moisture energy between the incoming and outgoing air, uh, coming and go leaving the home. Right. And again, here, here are the, the two pipes which extend out and we see one turning here and that's the exhaust pipe and uh, the incoming air is through this pipe which is uh, has a much straighter run here's the back door here so it's right above the back door that's our ERV and um, so we're going to move along here and take a look at this ducted mini split system here the pipe, this pipe is the air that is leaving the house, the stale air. This, this pipe delivers fresh air into the house and it's delivered into the mechanical room where it will mix with the air, with the return air into the two mini splits. The other part of the ERV system is all the, the stale air piping up above. Uh, we've got two zone dampers. These are normally shut off unless you want to draw air from portions of the home uh, on demand. So normally the ERV pulls all of its air from the bathrooms in the event that you have uh, want to pull air from the common area and another special uh, part of this home is going to be a passive laundry closet, it has the option of pulling air from those. Oh, let's go take a look at that real quick. Anytime that, that either one of these are energized, the damper will open and allow air to be drawn from these locations and will also boost the output from the ERV to uh, about double of what its normal capacity. Normal oh. capacity is a little bit under 100 CFM and it's boosted state it will be pulling around 200 CFM. Okay so here's the framing for the, the, the little passive dryer closet here and right above it we can see a uh, duct and uh, that's connected to the ERV so that's return and how does the, uh, so how does that work? Well, you'll have a timer on the wall. Okay, where is it? Here. Okay, so there's so a switch. So you'll put, your, you'll put okay. your clothes in the closet. Put the set, clothes in the closet. Set the timer. Set the timer. The timer will then energize a damper that opens the duct run to the ERV. Okay. And then will also boost the output of the ERV. So now it will be drawing from this location as well as the bathrooms. Oh, okay. So it, it kind of boosts the speed of the fan That's right. for a given period of time? That's right, which you're, you'll be able to choose uh, from 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, or continuous. Oh, so the, we don't need a clothes dryer. We can actually just take the clothes right out of the washing machine, the front loader, and put them in the dryer closet. Hit that switch, which opens up the damper. Uh, on that intake and um, or exhaust or whatever and uh, draws air through the the dryer closet and dries your clothes. So we've eliminated a dryer in theory anyway. Um, but uh, in any case then we've got a mini split ducted system. Let's take a look at that. All right. So we get to actually install the equipment we have one of the air handlers sitting here. Uh, basically this is the duct flange. This is what's going to connect to the duct. It will be supported by an all thread hanging from the ceiling. And you'll see now if we we'll walk to the 
the actual dust. I have two systems. One that feeds the living room, dining room, kitchen, library area, this is this one. Uh, to give you an idea of where it connects to, it's the air handler will connect to this flexible duct connector to minimize any vibration noise coming from the system. And the other one, we have the feeds the master bedroom, master bath, the uh, second bedroom, laundry closet, and hall bath. Wow. Okay, so we have two separate systems and one's going essentially to uh, the common areas and then one is going to the private areas, the bedrooms or... Basically that's okay. right, yes. And, well, the, the private areas and the, the laundry area. And, and how, how big are these two small heat pumps? Uh, they're basically just one ton units. Okay. And we did this to divide up the amount of air we need to go to each, each location, even though the, the house really only requires one ton of cooling and uh, about one and a half ton of heating. So one ton for cooling for the entire house and a ton and a half for heating. Yes. Okay. Um, so this all works together with the, the uh, two mini splits and the ERV work together so we don't have a traditional furnace and we're recovering heat loss and uh, through our ERV and we'll see how it works. Well, the other neat thing about the, the mini splits is that they're uh, inverter driven so they're capable of matching their capacity with the load in the building. So they're not, they're not just on full blast every time they come on, they, they come on and they modulate how much capacity they have in order to meet the needs of the building. Okay, so um, in other words, they they will adjust to uh, whatever the demand is. That's right. Okay. Um, Where your conventional system is on 100% anytime it's on, and off 100% when it's off. So this these systems should provide a much uh, tighter temperature range than conventional equipment. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, we, so we've covered the ERVs, and we've, and so we will have some um, units that will be sitting outside, some cooling units, condensers, and there's. Uh, let's see if we can see the piping here. Okay, all the bl black mass of yeah, so pipes that goes the refrigerant through line set refrigerant for lines. both of the uh, mini splits to the outdoor condensing units. Okay. Well, great. Uh, Jason, brilliant. Um, Thank you, Dave. We'll, uh, we'll see what other little treasures we have in store and maybe make another video. Thanks for watching.